Joe Warren and Darian Caldwell. I love this fight. Joe Warren is a real mature fighter. He's a guy that's seen it all in the Bellator cage. He's held the belt. He's done it all. Every time you think Joe Warren's finished, that's when he comes back. A lot of people are writing him off against Darian Caldwell because Darian Caldwell is the best kept secret in Bellator at 135 pounds. That dude is a monster. Pure speed, pure athleticism, pure technique, pure ability. The dude is scary. He's facing a young, hungry lion at Darian Caldwell, but every time he's faced a young, hungry lion, the old veteran comes out in him. He's a guy that's been able to impose his will on these young guys, especially the young wrestlers. His Greco is on another level. All he needs to do is use that Greco in this fight. Can Joe Warren's Greco skills, can his ability to control range, to make a fight tight, to make it about the clinch, can he do that against a guy who has all the wrestling skills to keep this fight on the feet? That's the question. Keys to victory for Joe Warren, chest to chest, make it a Greco-Roman wrestling kind of fight. He's a world champion in Greco, which is from the waist up. He needs to close the gap. He needs to use the fence to kind of slow down Caldwell, try and take some of that explosivity away, and use those clinches to just dominate minutes. Also, he has to know, I have been in here before. I have been in contention. I have fought for a title. I've been a champion. Make the experience count against Darren Caldwell, who's stepping up into the limelight for the first time. Keys to victory for Darian Caldwell, shoot from the outside, low single legs, ankle picks, the kind of takedowns that a Greco-Roman world champion won't be as ready for. Make it about his physicality and his speed. What he showed is an ability to transition from wrestling to jiu-jitsu in a really funky ways, and that's what Caldwell brings to the table. Also, be ready for a long fight. I don't care how that first round goes for Darren Caldwell, he doesn't finish Joe Warren. He has to be ready for 15 minutes. He can't let himself believe, I've got this guy on his heels and it's done. Because with Joe Warren, it's never done. I see the winner of this fight as next in line for a title shot at 135. 